So the next item we're going to talk about on the MyCollab client under the name tab at the top is the manage account. So in the manage account, there's several things you can do here that um, you can add so other people have uh, additional ways of getting a hold of you. Uh, one of the most common things is people will update their picture so that it shows a picture of them when people call them or when they're chatting and so forth. So if you want to change the picture, we just hit change picture. And then we're going to hit browse, find a picture that you want to use. And then probably a good idea to crop the picture just so that it's not too huge when you're trying to upload it. And then once you have that, we'll hit upload. And then it should upload the picture here. Sometimes uh, when it when you do your initial upload, it won't refresh on the on the client here, so you'll have to go out of the client back in in order for it to refresh. But uh, but it should be uploaded on the server. So we'll check that real quick. Let me just go ahead and close this out, and then we will exit the client and open it back up. And there it is. So there is the picture. So, um, so to finish the manage account, you can also change your password here. If you want to change your password that you use to log in, um, you also can check automatic run client. Uh, when I log into windows, that way it'll start the client up as soon as you log into windows. So you don't forget to start it. Other things you can do down here is your different phones. So this is how your phones are going to show up when other people try to call you or from your contact list. If you wanted to edit the name of those, you could click on this and hit edit and then change it from desk phone to say office phone or whatever you want it to say. Um, also, if you want to publish it or not, some of these are non changeable as far as the publish goes. You'll see it's grayed out because that's on the server side. So that's automatically going to be published to everybody so they can call you. Um, then as we go down further here, so you're going to see the, the icons here will, these look like you, you have, this one has a desk phone and a soft phone, which we'll talk about the soft phone functionality later. And then here, this looks like a little cell phone. So this is my dynamic extension. This extension is tied to my cell phone. So if I needed to edit that, say my cell phone changes, or I want it to go to a different number when I have my dynamic extension enabled or my twinning, as we call it, um, then you can hit edit here, and then I could edit that phone number. You don't have to put a nine or anything that the phone system already knows that there's a nine. So, and I could call this my cell too, just so that people know if they're calling that extension, it's gonna go out to my cell. And you can say publish if you want everybody to see that or not publish it. Okay. So what's that? And then you can also add additional contact numbers if you want, if you want to add other phone numbers and stuff that you want in here for people to be able to call you on. Email address is also a good thing to add sometimes. So you can click on this, add your email. So it's the work email. And save that. And then instant messages, um, instant message addresses. So you already have one tied to your system. Um, unless your system has integration to other instant messaging services, then there wouldn't be any need to add any additional ones here. And it's very, it's not very likely that that usually happens, um, but uh, you'd have to check with your system administrator to see if there is anything, um, any other instant messaging services that you're tied into. So that's it for the manage account tab.